is Pantry Organization Day. going to be organizing all of that so that's gonna be a whole project I got all of the stuff yesterday I went to Safeway and like stocked up on different things I needed like sugar flour all the goods and then we went to Costco today and just got a bunch of snacks and things for the pantry and then I'm also going to be organizing this cabinet down here this is where we store well I mean look at it, it looks horrible but this is where we store like all of our snacks and things like that um, different dried goods so it needs some serious help it looks so bad right now so I can't wait to see it all come together thinking about the way that you know me no one ever cared like you care for me you're such a bright star in the dark space So fly, you got me like Apart from the OXO bins, I got everything I used in this organization video from the Dollar Tree. They have the best organizing bins. I always tell people to get them because one, they're affordable, but they also work really great for pantries especially. Let me be right by your side because I know that this is right. Don't be shy, just get to know me. We can take this somewhere else. You and me can find ourselves. Stop pretending we are lonely. Oh, 
It is complete chaos in here still. It is a work in progress, so I'm just trying to remind myself to not get overwhelmed. I had 12 of those OXO bins, and I've used all 12 of them, and I still had things that I needed to fill, powdered sugar, um, trail mix, different things like that, so I had to make a stop out to Walmart. I also got Chick-fil-A, which is goals. Walmart didn't have exactly what I was looking for so I had to improvise because I don't have time to deal with this. Um, so I got a few more containers. They are different obviously but still staying within the same color scheme. They were actually really affordable. This one right here I think was three dollars and it's just like a plastic container nothing special. And then these storage containers right here are going to be great for, I think, trail mix and some more cereal. I think granola or something like that. Again, these were only $3.97, I believe. Something like that. So really affordable. And I think they're going to work. So let's get them filled. How I went about it was keeping everything that I use the most often towards the front. So my cans, I kept olives, chicken breast, corn, those ones I reach for the most and you can pull them out and still get the ones in the back so it wasn't a big deal. For the OXO bins, I kept all of my flour, baking essentials towards the back because I don't use those very often. I kept my pasta to the left hand side and then for Kenzie's like potty training and chocolate chips, I just kept in the back as well because we have a another stash of potty training snacks that we use and then the snacks are what we reach for every day so the trail mix and goldfish are right at the front and for the two bins at the top I kept one bin for all of my extra baking essentials and these are packaged items like chocolate chip cookies cake mixes things like that and the other bin is all of the extra snacks so fruit snacks M&Ms all of the good stuff because we don't reach for those very often and it's nice because I wanted to keep it high so that Kenzie can't get a hold of it. to the next cabinet I wanted to organize. This has been a cabinet that has just been a mess since forever it feels like and it needed to be done so bad. So quarantine was the perfect opportunity and I was able to get everything taken out. Of course, that's always my first step. Remove everything. That way you can see how you want to lay it out, how you want your bins to look in there. And I was excited to get this project done. 
It's hard when you don't have an actual pantry to work with. These are the only cabinets we use for our food storage, so it's not a lot of space. So I tried to come up with the best way that was gonna work for our family. I hope if you have a small space, this maybe gives you some inspiration. These are two of my favorite Dollar Tree bins. I love them so much because they hold so much stuff, um, especially the ones that you can see through, the ones with the slits in them. That one holds so much stuff. So. It's it's really great for people with small spaces. So when you are at the Dollar Tree, try and keep an eye out for these two because they're really great. I kept two of the teal bins in the back and those were for extra products. So my goldfish crackers, um, extra flour and sugar that I had from the OXO bins. So things that I don't ever reach for and that I probably won't need for a very long time, but in case I can have them back there so that I know where they are. left bin that's where I decided to store our cereal containers and they're really great and accessible so I even used them this morning and I liked how I can just reach in and grab it real quick it makes my life so much easier And then on the right hand bin, I stored all of our extra goldfish crackers and pretzels. I stored all of our extra drinks in the back, so apple juice, cranberry juice, we already have those in the fridge, but you know how Costco is, they're bulk, you get so much. Um, and then with Kenzie's juice boxes, our LaCroix and water. Two of the bins I did use specifically for James. He drinks coffee every morning. He has an espresso machine, so he said he needed bottled water, so there's a section for him, and then of course his coffee cups, so every morning he can go in here and get one. This is how it turned out you guys let me know what you think I'm happy with it I think it's gonna work great for us I love that all of the things we reach for the most are at the top that way Kenzie if she wants a snack she can go in there and grab one I'm gonna show her around and show her how everything is set up I hope this video gave you some inspiration to get an organization project done in your home I would love if you considered subscribing to my YouTube channel. It would mean so much to have you. I post weekly videos and you can also hit the bell notification. That way, every time I upload, you are notified right away. And that is it for today. I hope you guys stay safe, have an amazing weekend, get some projects done, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.